Mental health is a huge talking point in our schools and amongst our children, but how are we ensuring the need is met in our schools? CBS 21's Elise Person joins me now with how the state is incentivizing more people to take up a career within school mental health services. Elise? Jasmine, I'm told that to become a licensed mental health professional requires sometimes years of internships, oftentimes those internships unpaid, but a new scholarship program will offer some cash to those who committed to providing mental health resources to our schools. I feel like the things that we can actually offer and recommend is is dwindling down. A shortage of mental health professionals in Pennsylvania schools is taking its toll. I know I feel like I'm spread pretty thin um, and, you know, other school counselors that I talk to feel the same. However, a new internship program administered through the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency is looking to bring more mental health specialists to Pennsylvania schools. This program is really designed to really try to build this pipeline for these professionals. A five million dollar allocation from the state will offer stipends to those who need internship hours before becoming fully licensed. There are years of education and experience um, internships that have to be completed prior to receiving that certification. Those internships often unpaid. To become eligible for the program, applicants must commit to working in Pennsylvania schools for a minimum of three years following their internship. One school counselor at Halifax School District says the need for mental health services in schools has gone up over the past few years. Whether it's therapist or social worker, psychologist, psychiatrist, all of those positions are really needed. I think that our legislators identified a real need for mental health support within our secondary schools. We would love to see additional funding of $5 million minimum each year. I think this is a really good step, but I think it's a good beginning. I don't think it's the whole solution. Now, the program is still in its early stages and is currently taking applicants. And to learn more about that application process, you can visit our website, cbs21.com. I'll send it back to you, Jasmine. Thank you, Elise.